Welcome everybody, this is your boy Gerardo Montano and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we are going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about the Vivid Blade Retro Custom Vehicle and we are going to do the add-on method. All you guys got to do is download all the requirements that is inside my description below and make sure that they are the latest version. Once you guys have completed that, then you download this mod, I will leave this mod inside my description below so you guys can download it. I have already downloaded the mod so I don't need to do it. Once you guys have completed all that, head to your desktop and go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Once you guys have completed that, head over to your mods folder, to your update folder, to your time 64 folder and inside your DRC packs folder. And now we are going to go into our extract folder the folder that we have downloaded the mod from. Open up your blade extract folder and then head it over towards the side. And now all you guys got to do next is click on your retro blade folder and now drag it into your DRC packs folder. Open up your readme.txt file and now copy the line code over here and then exit out of your text file, exit out of your extract folder, head over to your Grand Theft Auto V main directory, right click and refresh your folder, exit out of your game folder, open up your open IV, go to your Grand Theft Auto V windows, it will take a few seconds depending on your PC performance, once the application opens up, go to edit mode, select yes go to your mods folder go to your update folder then go to update.rpf go to your commons go to data then scroll right down the bottom and you'll see drclist.xml hover over it right click and edit scroll right down the bottom and then now all you guys got to do next is click on a side where it says item, press enter once, and then now paste the code in here. Now once you guys have completed that, save, save your code, go back to your drclist.xml file, double click, and check to see if your code is in there. And yes it is. Exit out of your application, edit mode, GTA V, exit out of your OpenIV, and now guys all you're going to do next okay is just refresh your desktop and then i'll see you guys in the game And now guys we're here with Franklin and we are going to show you guys how to spawn the vehicle. Now to spawn the vehicle guys it's really simple and easy. Make sure you are using Trainer V because Trainer V is easy to spawn. So all you guys gotta do is press F4 then scroll down to vehicle spawning. Scroll right down the bottom to edit vehicle menu. And then you'll see your vehicle right there guys, a Vapid Blade Retro Custom Muscle. Click on it and then here it goes guys, see? And we've got our vehicle right here, look at it man. It's freaking awesome man. It's an awesome vehicle, I really love it and it's an awesome car guys. Awesome man. And yes guys, you can customize it, okay? But I won't do it, but you guys will see a video once I finish this video. 
so guys that is it for now I hope you guys do like this video and don't forget guys if you guys need help on how to install mods like other mods or this mod then I'm more than welcome to help you guys out this channel is all about me helping you guys out to actually make your mods work okay so with that said guys I hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys did Please smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and I will see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you guys watch this promo video.